We're doing a oil rig tour. This is crazy. Submarines! Whoa. It can go to 3,000 feet. 3,000 feet? working it was all men on the cruise so community bathrooms community shower rooms most of our rooms as you see these have four beds yeah. uh, today we do have women working offshore so now you're building quarters with more privacy yeah so you might have two staterooms that share a bathroom and shower mm -hmm. or each room have its own bathroom and shower Charlie was out in 40 feet of water depth and they wanted to go deeper. Then they developed the jackup rig. The jackup rig has two barges and longer legs. So as this barge would be floating on the surface, you would sink this barge to bottom. Once it's on bottom and stable, you would jack this barge up above water surface. You would jack it high enough up to avoid whatever waves you think are going to come through. So once these were in a couple hundred feet of water depth and then they wanted to go even deeper, they developed a semi-submersible nicknamed floater because now it always floats. So you see this one has an anchor system. So you can set the anchors out. Once the anchors are set and holding the rig in place, you would sink the barges below water surface. So now they're not riding the waves. They're much more stable. And smoother. Yes. Now they were limited to about 1,500 feet of water depth because of the weight of the anchor cable hanging off of them. Then they wanted to go deeper than that satellite navigation comes along, so we have what's called dynamic positioning. So with dynamic positioning, we put motors all around the hull. So now with those thrusters all around the hull, we can go to location and stay on location with our own propulsion system. So now it doesn't matter what the water depth, the rig can stay on location. So now our limitation is the ability to build equipment that we're setting on the bottom of the Gulf or ocean floor that we're going to drill through and then later produce through. And we can do that now at 12,000 feet of water depth. So of course everything is controlled by the weakest link. So once that weakest link can get to 15,000 feet, well, everything will go to 15,000 feet. Really? It's pretty good. All right, thank you. Christmas. No, you can't buy these for Christmas. These are, these are the drill bits. Small ones. It's pretty heavy.
training and they can do their hands on on here so you see it's got lights cameras arms and hands so the pilot and the navigator would be inside the control van with monitoring joysticks operating this equipment and then this arm is different from this arm so the arms and hands are changeable depending on what job you're going to do will depend on what arm you want to use what hand you want to use that arm reaches around this one doesn't it just extends out that hand opens parallel, so it picks up rectangular object pretty good. This one's circular for now using round objects. Is that the basket? Look this way, look this way. I'm not, I'm not That's to bring everybody up. Yeah, Personnel basket. So this is the basket you would be riding. So that would be either the from crane. the boat to up here or from down from here down to the boat. Did you hear that? Yeah. Very now when when they're training on here, they're picking them up about 75 feet above water surface to put them on the deck of a barge. Once you're offshore, you may be on a platform or rig that's higher than the top of our derrick when they swing you out and set you down. <laughs> so you can be as high as 300 feet when they drop you down. And if the wind's blowing, it just catches that basket and becomes a pendulum. <laughs> that crane picks up that basket, it picks up this pipe, it picks up all our groceries, everything we need that's coming by boat, this crane's got to pick it up and put it on here. Yeah, we'll use that. And we would put that single joint of pipe in the hole that's below this plate. Once it's there, using this drawworks winch, which is attached by a cable to that travel block, hanging from that travel block would be that swivel hook laying over there, that yellow piece. And hanging from that swivel hook would be the Kelly, this tall piece here. So all three of these would be hanging over our head as we work here. We lower that Kelly over the joint of pipe, attach the joint of pipe to the Kelly, pick up the joint of pipe and bring it here to where we're actually drilling the well. So this eye wouldn't be in here at this point, this cable wouldn't be here, this would be an open ended joint of pipe. We stab our new joint of pipe on. Now we've got a chain over here hooked to a winch. We wrap the chain around the new pipe, pull it, that spins it and threads it together. Once it's threaded together, we've got to tighten it. These are our pipe wrenches, manual yeah, they, tongs. They look like Keyword little manual. sea holes. When you're <laughs> <laughs> so, they look like so they're, they're hanging on counterweights. So we, we direct it over, we open the jaws, latch onto like the two trendy. joints of pipe, we pull with a winch, and we get this to the torque that we want. Once it's tight enough, then we release these manual tongs, let them hang back over to the side. Then the driller lowers the Kelly so that the Kelly pins to the floor. Once the Kelly is pinned to the floor, the driller now turns the floor mechanically. <coughs> so as the floor turns, that forces the Kelly to turn, the Kelly forces the pipe to turn, we're drilling. 
from here you can see the two uh, shrimp boats right there Lee was telling me that this waterway is one of the main hubs to go to the Gulf to distribute all the uh, equipment to the oil rigs You did? Yeah. Oh, I would have got it on camera. Oh, it smells like a whale. So inside these open top tanks is where we're mixing the drilling mud. Now, since Where's for us lines? we're not mixing mud, we use these tanks to confine space entry and rescue classes. Now, to give you an idea of some of the jobs on here, the generators, the mud pumps, the cementing unit are all down in the engine room. So if you look down there, you can actually see the engine room. All right, we're going to go back up this way. Yep, yeah, but Jay, that's like in that corner right there. That corner is my lease where it does this and turns. Lee's property is right over there, his hunting property. You said the boat ramp's right there, too? Yeah, the boat ramp's on the right hand side over here, past okay. the high line. These, these are the drill bits. That thing's huge. Hey, there's a hard pack. There is. <laughs> wow, where do we go back down? Any other yeah. questions you might Those are steep, steep stairs. So that's it. That's the oil rig. He said it's the only one in the world uh, that's authentic. There's other like reproduction ones, but this one's 100% authentic. Really, really cool. It's huge.